Welcome to another Shark Home Brewing Adventures video about hops. Today's video will discuss the Columbus hop. The Columbus hop, also known by the acronym CTZ, Columbus, Tomahawk, Zeus, has an intriguing history that is somewhat shrouded in mystery. It was developed by Charles Zimmerman, who was part of the USDA hop breeding program in the 1970s. The hop was initially produced without a clear record of its lineage due to it being created through wind pollination, which made it impossible to identify the exact hops involved in its breeding. Zimmerman retired from the USDA and feared that his work would be lost, so he moved some of his breeding stock to his home in Prosser. This stock eventually made its way into commercial breeding programs, although the details of how this occurred are not entirely clear. The Columbus hop was later patented in the 1990s, and it was issued a U.S. plant patent in 1999. The Columbus hop is known for its strong bittering qualities and its spicy, earthy flavor profile with an understated citrus note, making it a versatile choice for brewing IPAs, pale ale, stouts, and more. Despite the lack of a definitive pedigree, many speculate that Brewer's Gold hops played a part in the development of Columbus, but this remains unconfirmed. The name Columbus itself became part of a legal dispute when both Hop Union and Yakima Chief attempted to patent the same hop. The dispute was settled with an agreement to market the hop jointly, and a third similar variety called Zeus was patented by Hop Steiner. The characteristics of Columbus, Tomahawk, and Zeus are so close that they are often referred to collectively as CTZ. This hop's mysterious origins and its significant impact on the brewing industry continue to fascinate hop enthusiasts and brewers alike. The Columbus hop is renowned for its intense and pungent qualities, both in flavor and aroma. Typically, it imparts a strong, earthy bitterness that is often described as resinous and spicy. This hop variety also has subtle citrus notes, which can range from lemon to grapefruit, adding a layer of complexity to its profile. In terms of aroma, Columbus hops are known for their herbal and earthy characteristics, with a pine-like quality that is quite prominent. The high oil content in Columbus hops contributes to their robust aroma, making them a popular choice for dry hopping, where they can impart a more pronounced aromatic presence without additional bitterness. Overall, the Columbus hop is a favorite among brewers for its bold and versatile nature, suitable for creating a wide range of beer styles where a pronounced hop character is desired. Columbus hops are known for their robust flavor and aroma, making them a favorite among craft brewers. Some popular beer styles that frequently use Columbus hops include IPA, India Pale Ale known for its strong hop character, IPAs often use Columbus hops for both bittering and aroma. American Pale Ale, a style that balances malt sweetness with hop bitterness, where Columbus hops can add a spicy touch. Stout, the earthy and spicy notes of Columbus hops can complement the roasted flavors and stouts. Barley Wine, a style with high alcohol content and strong malt flavors, where the bitterness of Columbus hops can balance the sweetness. Lager, Columbus hops can be used in lagers to add a clean, crisp bitterness. Specific beers that feature Columbus hops prominently include Anderson Valley's Hop Otten IPA Pyramid's Thunderhead Oscar Blue's Deviant Dale's IPA These beers showcase the distinctive earthy, spicy, and subtle citrus notes that Columbus hops are known for. Whether you're a home brewer or a beer enthusiast, trying out these styles can give you a taste of the versatility and rich flavors that Columbus hops bring to the brewing world. The brewing process for beers that use Columbus hops, like IPAs, American Pale Ale, Stouts, Barley Wines, and Lagers, typically involves several key steps. 1. Milling the Grains the brew starts with milling the grains to break them down, which helps to extract fermentable sugars during the mashing process. 2. Mashing. The milled grains are then mixed with hot water in a process called mashing. This activates enzymes in the grains that convert starches into sugars. For beers using Columbus hops, the temperature and duration of the mash can affect the final flavor profile. 3. Loudering. After mashing, the mixture is transferred to a louder tun where the liquid, wort, is separated from the grain solids. 
4. Boiling. The wort is boiled and Columbus hops are added at various stages. For bittering, they are added early in the boil. For flavor and aroma, they are added later or at the end of the boil. The timing and amount of hop addition can greatly influence the beer's bitterness, flavor, and aroma. 5. Fermentation. The boiled wort is cooled and transferred to a fermentation vessel where yeast is added. The yeast consumes the sugars and produces alcohol and carbon dioxide. The type of yeast and fermentation temperature will affect the beer's character. 6. Conditioning. After fermentation, the beer is conditioned to develop its full flavor. This can be done in the same vessel or by transferring to a new one. Some beers may also be aged in barrels for added complexity. 7. Packaging. Finally, the beer is carbonated if necessary, and then packaged in bottles, cans, or kegs for distribution. Throughout this process, the unique characteristics of Columbus hops can be highlighted by adjusting the timing of their addition and the balance with other ingredients. The earthy and spicy notes of Columbus hops can be emphasized in the boil for bitterness or later in the process for aroma, depending on the desired outcome of the beer. The versatility of Columbus hops makes them suitable for a wide range of beer styles, each with its own specific brewing nuances to bring out the best in this hop variety. Brewers generally have a very positive impression of the Columbus hop, appreciating its robust and complex flavor profile. It's known for its earthy and spicy undertones with a hint of citrus, which, along with its high oil content, makes it an excellent dual-purpose hop. This versatility allows it to be used for both bittering and aroma additions in a wide range of beer styles. The Columbus hop is a high-alpha bittering hop with an alpha acid content ranging from 14 to 18 percent, making it ideal for brewers looking to add a firm, clean bitterness to their beers. Its resinous and pungent character shines in American IPAs, pale ale, and even stouts, where it can provide the perfect counterbalance to sweet malt notes. Homebrewers and craft brewers alike enjoy experimenting with Columbus hops, often using them in single hopped IPAs or smash, single malt and single hop beers. These beers highlight the hop's wonderful flavor and aroma profile, especially when used in late additions or dry hopping. In summary, the Columbus hop's bold and powerful character, coupled with its suitability for a variety of beer styles, has earned it a favored spot in the craft brewing world. Whether creating a bold IPA or a subtly spiced lager, Columbus hops offer a distinctive touch that can elevate a brew. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned some new insights about this episode's hop selection. If there is a hop that you would like to see a video, please leave a comment. Please hit the like button if you like watching this video series. Subscribe if you want to watch the other content posted on this channel. Once again thank you for watching and cheers!